So you may have noticed that if you go online, which is funny enough, people are really into this idea of digital detoxification. And I'm definitely one of those people that is on their phone a lot, and I justify it by saying, hey, it's for work. You know, I make YouTube videos, I like to check my comments, go on YouTube Studio, go on Twitter, engage with the community. But a lot of the times there are situations where I really don't need to be on my phone, but I'm on it because, again, it's just in my hand, it's in my pocket, and it's just something to do to kind of take over that spare time that maybe I would otherwise just be staring at a blank wall. So I kind of like this idea of digital detoxification and people and companies and brands have been making actual hardware products to kind of help out in this facet. But I'm here to show you that you can do it for much cheaper from your actual phone itself by doing just this right here. And I'm gonna show you how. Let's get into it. And before I show you, I do wanna reiterate that I'm not saying don't go out and get these pieces of hardware because something like the Light Phone 3 or the Minimal Phone, they look like great pieces of hardware, but at the same time, not everybody has four, six, eight hundred dollars, because that's what the Light Phone 3 is gonna cost, to just throw away for something that they're gonna use less and something that's more than likely gonna supplement their phone. Because if you are watching this YouTube video, it means that you're on your phone a decent amount of time, whether it is for work, for pleasure, for something in between, and you're gonna need an actual smartphone to get a lot of your things done, as we've seen with videos reviewing this phone. So I do think that while these pieces of hardware are great and they're great for supplementing your current flow when it comes to using your phone, I don't think that's going out and spending four or six or $800 is gonna be worth it for most people. And I'm all for the idea of maybe paying for it will allow you to really wanna use what you're actually doing, very similar to paying for a diet program or paying for a gym membership. If you pay for it, then that means you're gonna use it because you don't wanna waste your hard-earned money on something you're not gonna use. So these brands are using that psychological situation to also entice people to buy those phones. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through what I did to my phone by using an app called Dumb Phone to pretty much bring that entire situation from a software standpoint onto your iPhone and make your phone a light phone 3, an iPhone Lite, a minimal iPhone, to really make sure that you're distracted free and make sure that you're using your phone a lot less. And I'm gonna show you guys how I've implemented it into my life because again, I'm not gonna be able to put down my phone at all times, especially during the week, but on the weekends, this has saved me a lot of time. Okay, so this process is honestly relatively simple. You need to download an application called Dumb Phone. And before we actually show off how to do this, I just wanna show you how I have my phone set up. And you can do this with any iPhone as long as you're running the latest version of iOS. So you, as you can see right in front of you, I have my iPhone 16 Pro Max. And the way that I have it set up is that I have a focus mode that I've created that if I go in here, tap on my focus, tap into weekend mode, you can see that everything kind of changes and then I swipe up and then I'm into my dumb phone situation. So again, I would, all the applications that I would need listed right here. And as you can see, I have my phone, my messages, Google Maps, ChatGPT, because that's basically my Google. I don't really use Google anymore. X, just because I use Twitter a lot. Settings, and then I have the menu right here. And then you might be asking, what about the camera and things like that? Well, I just have camera control right here, so I can tap that to pull up the camera, so I have a shortcut to that. And then if I also want to, I can still you know, pull up Siri if I want to. And I also have ChatGPT Voice Assistant mapped here. So I have everything that I would absolutely need in order to get through a weekend from you know, a phone standpoint with anything that comes with my phone. And what I like about this is that there's no actual notifications that come through in my weekend focus mode. And also there's no banners either or no badges. So if I do have a bunch of messages in here, I'm not gonna know that. But to show you how it works, I just tap into phone. It'll open up the phone with via a shortcut. I can you know, pull up Google Maps if I want to. It opens up Google Maps. I could also go into my settings right here to show my settings, so that's great to see. And overall, it just works very well. And then down here, it kind of looks like a hamburger menu, but actually it's just the app icon that's been color matched correctly to the wallpaper. Now, how do you set this up? Setting it up is actually very easy. Once you download the application, the first thing that's gonna happen is gonna walk you through a setup process. So let's go into that and show you exactly what that looks like. Now I do wanna show you guys how to do this from scratch so there aren't any questions. So I went back to my normal mode. And the one thing that we will touch on in a little bit is this idea of the dock because the dock is persistent and we're gonna have, that's the one manual thing you're gonna to have to do every time you switch over. But for me, I do it in literally five seconds now, every Friday and then five seconds every Sunday night or every Monday morning, depending on my situation. But we're gonna create the dark mode dumb phone situation to show you guys what it's like from beginning to end. So if we go in here, this is the dashboard. I'm actually gonna swipe to the right to create a new launcher. So we're gonna do this from scratch. We'll press this plus sign. We're gonna do a test one. We'll press create. And now this is how you're actually greeted from the very beginning. So 
You're going to decide on a few applications that you want. Each widget will be able to hold up to six different applications. You, of course, can add multiple pages if you want to, but the idea here is to keep it as minimal as possible and as dumb as possible moving forward so you're not kind of going through a bunch of different applications when you shouldn't be because that is the point of this app. So if you go in here, let's say you want to add, you know, your messages, your Safari, your notes, your photos, settings, and then let's add like a third party one and we'll say ChatGPT, we'll add that one right there and then we'll press done over here, right there. So that is a list of all the different applications that are going to be on this widget. You of course can hit the ellipses right here to rename each one of them. And then you can also reorder them by holding this menu bar down and moving them up and down like this. And what I like is that there's some nice haptics as well. So they've thought of pretty much everything with this application. So you can also add more if you want to by adding more pages. But for now, we're going to press done right here. So this is going to be your minimal phone or whatever you want to call it, your dumb phone kind of widget because that's how it works. This works off of widgets in order to be able to mimic that screen, but we're going to show you how to actually set that up. So once this is done, you're going to hit on this top bottom left down here. This is all the theming that's going to be needed to be done in order to actually be able to color match everything, get the right wallpaper. And again, it's very easy to set up. So a couple different options you can do here. You can change the color tones. You can change if you want it this color right here. If you want it like a darker black, you can do that. If you want it to be white on white, you can do that. And then you can even go custom with it. You have your wallpapers, your app icon, and your themes. And to make it easy, we're going to go into themes right here because this predetermines a few different colorways and a few different color options for you to go through. You know, you can get a little crazy with it by going two-tone or going with different colors. But to keep it simple, we're going to go with this look right here, which is going to be the dark look. So everything will be saved for you here. You have the widgets right here. You have your day and time widget, if that's something you want to add. You have the dark hamburger menu. You're going to want to save the wallpaper because this wallpaper is color matched. And then we're going to apply the theme. Once that theme is applied, everything from that theme will then correspond to this current test style that we have right here. We're going to press done and then we go on and then you're going to edit your home screen like you would any other time. So we're going to swipe up, we're going to lock the phone, we're going to go here and then we're going to long press on the lock screen because we want to customize the lock screen as well. So once we have that, we'll swipe over to the right. I already have a few of these set up, but we'll press this plus sign right here. You're going to go into your photos, go into all, tap on this. And then you're going to be able to then customize this however you see fit. So I actually been liking to go as thin as possible because the thinner the better when it comes to minimal. I like to add just the weather up here so I know what the temperature is outside when I do wake up. And then that's pretty much it. If you don't have a more modern iPhone and you don't have the camera control button to then shortcut you to the camera, then keep the camera right there so you don't have to use the camera shortcut on the screen. But once you're there, you press done up here and you are going to want to change one thing. So you're going to go into customize home screen and you want to turn the blur off. If you keep the blur on, the dock will not hide and it'll still be kind of this weird look to it. But we'll press done after that. We're going to jump into here and then we're going to swipe up. So now we have this set up and we are in our home screen with the correct wallpaper. As you can see, things are still not perfect. But if we long press on here and then you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a new slide over here. We're going to want to edit. We're going to add widget and then you're going to want to look up DP because that's going to be short for dumb phone. Go on here. And then you can see that this is the widget that you created inside of the application. So we're going to add that one. We'll press add. I'm going to move it down here. And then we're going to also add another one. So we press on edit, add a widget. Also go back to DP because you're going to want a spacer on here to make sure even though we do have a little bit more of a free flowing window when it comes to widgets and applications, you still want to add it just for you know consistency sake. So we'll add this, we'll add the widget. That'll always stay on top. And then another quick trick you're going to need to know is if you press edit to get rid of the little DP under here, you're going to want to customize and then have large icons. So that'll get rid of that. And then that's good to go. And then, of course, you're going to want to get rid of the dock. So what I do here is I long press. Go here, go here, go here. Let that go. Move this one. Down here. And now we're almost done. As you can see, we have all of our icons here. We have the widget or at least the app icon down here to access the dumb phone application. But there's a couple things that we still need to do. First and foremost, the dock is still visible, so it's not clean. So of course, we're going to go here. We're going to turn on dark mode. Then the dock will then kind of mesh into the wallpaper. And then secondly, you can see that we have all these applications still here. So then we're going to long press again. We're going to go into this menu right here, and then we're going to uncheck each one of these boxes. We're going to press done. And then that is going to be your dumb phone or your light phone or your iPhone light or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, we only have these applications here. 
We have all these applications on the right, you have your app library still, but for the most part, that's it. And what I like is that it is monochromatic, so it's just this black, gray, white situation. So there's no notifications, there's nothing that gets in your way, there's no big red badge that's gonna make you wanna use your phone, there's nothing kind of popping in your face in order to do that. And like I said, the way that I do it is that I have it set up as a focus mode. And then in order to do that, it's actually very easy. So all you have to do is go into your settings, go into focus. You're gonna to wanna to add a new one. We'll do a custom one. We'll call it test again. We'll press next. Customize the focus. I like to turn this on. And then this is where you're gonna go and customize the screen. So we're gonna choose the most recent one. So if we scroll all the way down, I have a bunch of these. This is the one we just created for a lock screen. We're gonna press done. Then for the home screen, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna select just this home screen. We'll press done. We'll press back and then that focus mode is set up. So now that that focus mode is set up, if I am back to my like weekday mode, which is my normal home screen, if you go down here, if we go into our focus modes and if we go onto test, it'll change everything to where it was. All those screens are gone and then this is how it stands right now. And all you're gonna have to do is go in here, make sure dark mode is turned on and then you get that nice clean minimal look of having the dumb phone all set up. And again, this works just as intended. It opens up Safari if you want to. You know, let's go on to nine to five Mac. So that's accessible if you want to. You can go into your notes if you want to. That's accessible as well. So everything that you want from your dumb phone or from your iPhone dumb or iPhone Lite 17 is still gonna be there as intended. And then whenever you want to, you go here, you turn off the test, then everything comes back to normal. But I will say that this is the one manual part, which for me is totally fine, but I just grab this, move this over, then click on my normal dock icons, grab these, move them down here, and then I'm good to go to be back on my weekday mode. And then whenever I wanna go to the weekend mode, I then just press my weekend mode again, and then I'm done. So that is going to be the dumb phone, how to set it up. It's super easy, and again, it just saves you a ton of money. It, there is an in-app purchase, I believe you can do monthly, yearly, and even a lifetime one. I think the lifetime one is only 25 bucks, the yearly is I think $12. And if you want to try it for a month, I think it's only two or three dollars, but definitely check it out if you are looking for this digital detoxification. And then maybe if you can hold on to this and make this your way to go, then you can maybe justify getting an actual piece of hardware like the Light Phone 3 or like the Minimal Phone because those phones are very cool in their own right and I like the idea, but for most people it's just not realistic to get another phone like that, especially if you're already in the Apple ecosystem and you use your phone for work and things just aren't going to be that way. So. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. Let's finish up the video. So as you saw, there's another way to do this without getting physical hardware in order to get this done. And the dumb phone is a great example of that. And I just like being able to support any developers that have been pushing this. And from the App Store ratings, I think it's got a 4.6 with almost a thousand reviews. So it definitely gets a job done. And I've noticed myself use my phone less on the weekends because this focus mode is turned on because when I do open up my phone, there isn't this endorphin rush of different colors and things that are being thrown into my face. When I look at it, I see that I have the options that I have there from a tool perspective, but there isn't just something there to go and waste five minutes of my time that then eventually turns into 30 minutes or an hour. And then again, I'm on my phone doom scrolling on Twitter or something like that. But let me know with a comment down below what you think. Is this something you would try? Is it worth giving this a try? Are you into the digital detoxification? You know, for some people it is, but again, some other people, they just can't stop using their phone for either work purposes or personal or whatever the case may be. But I would recommend giving this a try. Give yourself 24 hours to see if this makes you use your phone less. Look at your screen time afterwards and then kind of go from there. But that'll do it for this video, everybody. Leave a comment down below what you think. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below as well. And if you want to watch more videos like this, check out one of these videos right here. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everybody.